Welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. We are going to return to Fisk Fabric. This map has gotten a new reskin. It's gotten the Growing Thumb Valley treatment. And how do I feel about that? I still wouldn't live here. Because think, this map is a fish processing plant. It gonna smell like fish. I mean, yeah, you have salmon on deck. You have uh, crappy on deck. You have whitey on deck. You have, what else do you have? Bass on deck. Yes, fish is good. But it smells. I don't want to be living in a house where the, where the ambient smell is a fish's guts. You feel me? I want to live somewhere where the ambient smell is the forest. In Town Valley. But that's all I want to say about this map. Look at the lobby. Yeah, it's almost like it's following a pattern. Default skin. Sweat. Default skin, not a sweat, and so on and so forth. The only thing that I'm really worried about in this game, oddly enough, is not the guy with an HPRT. He just want to try to kill whatever he sets his sights on. I'm worried about the fucker with the M21. Yeah, I said it. I'm worried about the M21 because if anything, that weapon has anti-jet ammunition and that shit kills me every time I see it in a lobby. So what I just said was this. The Sweat, you know, the guy with over 5,000 kills, he is going to go after anything he sees. Which leads him to fire, which leads other people to come investigate, which means death by a thousand cuts. Or he's going to loot somebody and get killed while looting. I'm not worried about it. But luckily for me, I got the anti-sweat weapon class on my back. A shotgun. And I believe the shotgun class is anti-sweat because... Because sweat's like a dance in front of you. As you've seen. Dan uh, dancing sweats is like terrifying. You feel me? But a shotgun, if you hit them once, will stagger them. And then you can kill them. My second, uh, how can I put it, class that I think is anti-sweat is a rifle. It's difficult, but you can manage it. If you see a sweat from far away, killing somebody, you can engage them at long range. And don't let it be a VSS, because then you can shoot at them and hit their head, and they will never know that you are around. Chefs kiss i'm looking at you vss i always am always will so we're here at a time safe being used down here which prompts me to go prone and hide behind this rock and peer over it My advice to you all, who will try to go for the time safe. That H bar T sound like thunder. It sounds fucking good. Find po find both padlocks first. Then hit them both. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. My testosterone is uh flowing in this moment. Because I hear the h -bar T, I know he's on the other side of this island, or other side of the road, and I know he has three ways to come in here. Down the road, to the right, 
to the exit or to the left to the docks. My right, my left. And right here, I'm actually praying that he doesn't have a, PS, a PSD on him. Because if he does, I'm kind of screwed. But at the same time, too, I just want to get eyes on him and see what he's up to. And right here, I think I messed up. And here's why I think I messed up. You heard how he got closer and then stopped? He's listening. And in case you didn't know this, every time you turn a combination on a blue box, you make noise. There he is. But here's the problem. If I shoot at him right now, I'm not going to kill him. I, I would not have a weapon that was good enough to take him out from this angle and from this height. I got the best, the best weapon for doing that shit, in my, opinion, in my opinion, on my back right now. And he's going down the road. Now, why do you think the chicken is going down the road? To use a detector. It's down there, isn't it? That's, that's what sweats do. I'm not going to lie to you, folks. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know where this picture's at. But I'm going to spend a long-ass time trying to find where this picture's at. But I know it's in that general area. And oddly enough, the sweat hits her car. You know what? In hindsight, that's not... That's not, um... Oddly enough, that's evenly enough. He's drawing attention to himself so he can get kills. Duh. Makes sense, don't it? Now, if you're wondering, Jet, why are you running past the time safe? Isn't it obvious? That's why. That's why right there. He was already going to detect me right there anyway. So why draw attention to myself twice? Keep it once. Keep it minimalistic. So let's see, well let's hear rather, how much lead that M16 and H bar T throw at each other. This is why I wasn't worried about him. This is why indeed. Yeah. Still going too. I'm drawing your attention away from me trying to find this damn picture because I really don't know where this shit is at. Matter of fact, I'm gonna ask y'all something. Drop the location of this picture in the comment section for me if you don't mind. Because I ran into it again on stream. Like after this day. Oh shit, the fight isn't over because we hear a mortar strike happening. I'm going to say this. This map is pretty, but I don't beat Gone Time Valley. It don't. So let me take you through what I'm thinking about as I'm looking for this picture. Trees. That's all I'm looking for. Trees. Trees and a ridgeline overlooking said trees. But see, my brain hasn't discovered enough of this map to point out that, okay, here's a ridge line. Here's some trees. It's right here. I haven't gotten that far yet. And you see, I'm looking behind me like, okay, this looks about right. But I decide to uh, loot the lookout, the endless lookout. And I don't know what that shit means. Why is it called endless? Maybe because the view of it is endless. And I keep going. I know I'm in the right area, I just don't know the exact location. So I keep moving, and I look, I'm look. i looking, and I'm like, those are the trees. I know those are the trees. But I'll get interrupted.
Have any of you ever played a game as a kid? Which one of these things don't belong? What does it belong? In this in this color palette I'm gonna draw for you. Thank God, he had an M21. What doesn't belong in this color palette that I'm gonna tell you? Green, brown, light green, light blue. If you said blue, you won. Or light blue, I mean, you won. Green, brown, and I should have said gray, really, are all the colors of the forest. What the fuck is light blue doing there? That's his raincoat. That's why I moved my camera slowly, so I can look at the colors. At first, I ain't gonna lie to you. At first, I thought he was a corpse. I thought he was a corpse, but nope. He was, he was alive. He was a demon. And luckily enough, for the power of the 870, I killed him. So, hooray. Back to this picture, though. I don't know where it's at. I still don't know. Like I said, folks, drop a comment in the comment section to tell me where this picture is at. I feel like I'm walking underneath the trees right now. That's what I feel like. But I'm not going to I'm not going to let you sit here and watch me suffer in the flesh. I'm trying to find this picture. I'm going to skip forward a little bit. So I gave up trying to find a picture, but all of a sudden I get jammed. And there's a jammer. You hear it. Normally, you would want to be inside your jam your jammed uh diameter you the owner of the jammer this is why i run away quick as fuck because wouldn't it make sense for somebody to still be in that jammed area and so right here i'm listening and i heard him for a little bit i heard him for a little bit now here is what's scary the game isn't over yet, folks. Here's what's scary. Notice where that jammer is. Isn't it awfully close to this little pier? Well, not pier, but this little, like, hill overlooking that exit I'm going toward right now. What I just said was, he could be up there watching this exit. And you see, this is why I'm looking up there right now. And I ain't got the weapons for it. Yes, I got an M21. But what if that fucker has a semi-automatic assault rifle? I'm looking directly at it. While running. Fuck the food. I'm trying to survive. The food in the trash can that we just saw. I'm looking up there. I'm looking up there. I'm preemptively, like, taking ev evasive maneuvers. Deposit the fuel. The fuel always is five units to leave out this exit. I'm watching that hill. I'm still watching it. Still watching it. Now we're good. We leave. Can you learn anything from this encounter? Yes, actually. I want to say two things. One, if you're going to go for the time safe, find both padlocks first. Two, if there is a sweat in your lobby and there's a whole lot of cannon fodder running around, when I say cannon fodder, I mean, like, low XP players. Sweats love those. You should be fine. Let the sweat hoover up all the souls while you hoover up maybe one or two, if you so desire, and you leave. I don't enjoy senseless virtual killing of people. I don't. Because the new players are what makes the game the game if you butcher them and bully them then what's the point you feel me the game is not going to be able to be played anymore by actual players so that's my two cents my point is this though if a sweat sees like six people that don't have any experience he's probably going to kill him he's going to be a big bad big big bad wolf and he's going to kill him so you should be okay 
just stay out of his way. I'll be sure to catch you in the next episode. Until next time, peace.